So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st she century. Tortured, right? But I like it old and school. Frankly, it's bullshit. <laughs> Keep that to yourself. I haven't kept up with Seriously, my journal as much as I should. I can frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? I do love my analog camera. What if I should take a quick picture now. Boy, the height of their beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have. I should take a picture to prove I'm, I'm still here. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, 
I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. You can find out all about him in your textbook. Or even... Sorry, Max. No more selfies, right? And hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera eye, and... Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. I have with the world. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson that's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith, good to see Avedon among the masters. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little- You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a You always Welcome to the real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture training class. Because Matt tells everybody to see how hip she is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious timeout in the bathroom. 
splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. <laughs> Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. To all of you, American girls. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. You, That's Dana talking to like I think his name is Justin. Be part of the world around you. Dana is on my floor too. Driving She's such an archetypal gorgeous seaside. cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. The world from the I've seen Brooke side. hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Yeah. I hate bully jock straps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. American I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. No one can tell where you it looks like she's been gone for months. American girls like Dolly. It looks like she's been gone for months. And plastic I wish I had. I wonder what actually happened to her. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I don't need a PC, miss the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Good thing I left my AK at home. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. The Bigfoot stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Yay, Halloween, my favorite time of year. Talking about her own place somewhere around the Miss Grant is a great science teacher. No one could try her fountain. Rachel Amber. She's so pretty. I hate these po Principal doesn't come out of his office much. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an ass. It looks like she's been gone for months. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. There's Juliet from my dorm, yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go off. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. To all of you, American girls, it's sad. Nerd alert. This poster has Imagine Warren written all over it. Without you, American girls, I'd like to. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Now who would bother to write that crap?
I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arbus? <laughs> Did it. Can you give me I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human, the human time machine. And and Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Diane. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? <sighs> because of her Keep images. Keep it together, Max. Places. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of my pencil case. Is when I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark What is going on? And Nothing has moved at all. And any one of you could do that to me. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so... She could have taken her. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. 
your generation. So I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. A French and I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're I wish I could go talk to Mr. Jefferson about what's going on. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please.